was born in 1783, the year the American Revolution ended. And he was the youngest of eight surviving children. He was the youngest of eight surviving children. His parents had emigrated to America from Scotland and England, and they had a hardware import-export business down in lower Manhattan, what is the Wall Street area. Of course, in those days, that's all that there was in New York City. When he grew up, his father insisted that he study law. He didn't much like it, and he never practiced it formally. 1815, he went over to Europe, and he ended up staying there for 17 years, living in Italy, Germany, Spain, France, and England. And it was really during this period that he was literally... What are you doing here? ...and he learned the languages and cultures of all the people that he lived in. Don't let go. Well, he came back to America and hooked up with the Army as they toured the newly acquired Oklahoma and the Oklahoma territories. Andrea, Sita. What? Unoccupied except for the Native Americans. Came back to New York City, moved in with an older brother... Like a fish, do like a fish. ...before realizing that he really should buy his own home. So that's what he did. He died here at the age of 76 in 1859, which was the eve of the American Civil War. So you can always remember him living between the end of the Revolution and dying just before the Civil War. So when, when was the house built? Well, we'll get into that a little bit when we get down to the house, because it's kind of a, it's kind of a, 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 a multi-level uh, project, but we'll, we'll start that shortly. Um, he left Spain, uh, left around, I'm sorry, he left Sunnyside to go to Spain, but he was appointed by President John Tyler to be the Minister of the Court of Sweden Fellow II. He served four years of diplomatic service before returning to Sunnyside where he lived out his life. Though he never retired because he did continue to write right up until within a few months of his death. He's generally considered to be the first American to make the majority of his living through writing. So let's continue. Our sycamore tree here yeah. supposedly was who was Washington Irving? Now you know Irving Washington. Oh, really? oh, they, Irving keep, Irving? they keep mistakenly saying Washington Irving. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh. but and that's really that's, that is why. <laughs> <laughs>